All right, now, I'm here to talk to you guys about something very special today. I've been waiting a while to get this in the studio, guys. And not only is it in the studio with us here today, it's going to be on Arc Labs. Time of the film in this video? It already is, okay. Now, this is not like some other devices I have on Arc Labs. So, I have, like, the Marauder X and stuff like that. This. This is literally military gear, okay? And when I say that, I'm not joking, okay? I mean, we're going to go over all these features and stuff, but this is a professional RF drone detector. And it's not a consumer gadget. So, I mean, the type of audience you're going for here is security. Uh, there's all kinds of different ways this can be put to use, especially if you own a really large property. You don't want people coming onto your property, snooping possibly, trying to... I mean, there's all kinds of crazy stuff happening, especially with the fiber optic drones. Uh, I know it's like sensitive topics and stuff, but I mean, it's real stuff. It's the world we're living in right now, and you can never have too much protection. So this is just a receiver. And you know what? I'm going to yap while I unbox this. So let me show you. Now, of course, you'll be getting a Arc Lab sticker with your order. And I mean... Let's see. Ooh. Okay, so this is the drone detector itself. So let's unbox real quick. We have the two antennas. Uh, these are aluminum antennas. Very strong ones for the price you're paying for this device. We have a USB to USB-C cable and a USB charging block. And we also have this tether if you want to tie it onto your hand. So now that we're out of the box, let me show you the device itself. So I already have this clip attached to the back. It screws into the actual shell itself. But I'm just going to go over some of these features real quick. So it is a USB-C charging device. That's something not many of these, uh, it's not a ham radio. Something many of these uh, walkie-talkie-ish devices, because that's obviously the style that this is based on. It's not a transmitter, though. It's only for receiving. So we could charge with USB-C, and then obviously just have your standard charger, and we could take the battery out itself. And you could replace these if you just want to get a bunch of them. Now, let's talk more about the device itself. So we have the antenna, which screws on right here. Very strong, nice antenna. And then we have this antenna, which screws on right here. <laughs> okay. And here's what it looks like assembled. So we go ahead, turn this on. And there it is. So I will say this scans 300 millihertz to 6.2 gigahertz consistently. Okay, so it's constantly scanning for these drones in the area. And I'm going to be showing a video at the end of me with my drone and testing it. Now, this main, there's a few different types. This one goes over almost all of the different frequencies for drones. So it detects DJI. Autel, FPV, DJI drones, all that stuff. It also works with uh, digital HD, analog FPV signals. And it uses negative 96 dBm for uh, early detection. So e before you even hear this drone in the, your airspace, it's going to be detecting it on this guy first. And also with, I'd say, a concealed look. Uh, obviously, this thing is big, but it doesn't stand out. I mean... You carry something around like... Like my Kisu, for example. Obviously, it's not big, but it stands out. Most people see this, they're going to be like, walkie-talkie. And they're going to move on with their day. So it also does have really clicky buttons. And let's move back down to the device itself. So it has the dual antennas for 360 coverage. And you don't have to aim it at certain directions. It's automatically going to be scanning all the airspace. Now, it has real-time sound because when you are detecting this drone, this thing's going to go off like... Like, it's pretty fun when it went off the first time. I was just filming a video, and then it was like... And I was like, whoa. Because I haven't heard a beat before. But these are custom-built to order. These are custom built to order. They are not mass produced. I'm not buying them off another company. So it takes about four weeks to get these in because I get them, I assemble them, 
And then I flash them with, of course, a special firmware that makes them super cool. So it is going to, because they are super custom, and they're way too expensive to order, just like 10 at a time at the moment. So be aware of that when you order. But uh, we have great customer service when you order one. You, you can watch this video, you could get a call, Discord. That's pretty much how it is with all my devices that I sell in Arc Labs. But nobody ever wants to hop on a call with me. So we have a green status LED at the top. When that goes red, that means your battery is about to die. And it does have a pretty decent battery life of six hours. And obviously, uh, that's because it is constantly working. It's not taking a break. It's not ever taking a break when it's turned on. So going back down on the device, we have, of course, our bat keypad down here. And there's a few different options. So we could change the language, time, date, lighting, vibration, sensitivity. So you could have it so it's less, less sensitive, but of course I feel like you probably want to have it so it's more sensitive. So even if it does pick something up, you're at least alerted that something in the airspace is there. Then if you put it super low and you maybe miss a drone. And then we have our log because this guy automatically logs all the drones it captures. So recording is on and then you could also check those lat logs afterwards. We have a few more buttons up here. To change a few settings and move around the UI itself. Now it is just this green screen, but I actually really like it with the green screen. It also says drone detector at the top. But I mean, that's really just it for this video. I've been, I have the next three months until the end of March booked out with videos. I know exactly what I'm doing. And I feel like with some of the devices I get in the lab, I have a problem, okay? And it sounds like a goofy problem, but. I'm having so many devices sent to me for review that I originally wanted to do in-depth videos on each device, but it's just not happening. Next, three months is booked out with all new devices. So what I've done to counteract this is I want my videos to be longer. They're normally about five minutes. I want them to start hitting like 10 to 15 minutes and getting the device, reviewing it, but then also showing how it works. So I get flashing it with firmware. Like with my Tanmat, so I've had people asking how to flash it. And I feel like if you include that in the original video with the review, and then also demonstrating how it works, it's going to be a lot cooler than just showing it off. So, that's some of the future plans. But this guy is on Arc Labs right now. You can get it. And if you're somebody who's interested in this, thank you for watching the video. If not, thank you for watching the video anyways. Make sure to like and subscribe. New videos coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I will say, there's been a super secret project. And I have a limited video. Not limited, just super special video dropping this Sunday, right at 12, uh, 12 p.m. Anyway, it's at 12 a.m. Right at 12 a.m. And it's it's a really cool video, something n like never seen before in this air in this space, and it's a pretty big company, so I'm excited to show it off. So this Sunday, we also have another video dropping on Friday, and that is it for today. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Check out the Discord, ages 13 to 17. And, I mean, check out Dark Labs. I'll leave a link in the pinned comment in the description. Bye.